Gaffer, a 6-2 defeat here at Olive Bank against Musselburgh. Can you give your thoughts on that performance? Couldn't get off to a worse start, you know. We concede a silly goal, really, really silly goal. Then gets bad for worse, you know. A goal that gets sent off in a minute and a half into the game. You know, it's all downhill from there, basically. You know, 4-0 by half time. Eh, sorry, 4-1, we get back in the goal with a PT, a great strike, you know. I'm really, really disappointed, but at the same time, I am so proud of my players. You know, that second half, they gave everything for me. That's all I said at half time. I was like, what happens to me now? We can't take another 9 0. We can't take another 6 7 0. If you want me at this club, can you go out there and prove that to me? And can you work for me? And every single one of the boys, even the boys on the bench that came on, proved to me that they know I'm still the man for here. I'm still the man. It's, um, it's hard, hard to accept. I hate losing at anything. And it's a, it's a bittersweet feeling that I know that the players care and I know that they want to make this club a better place. So it's not three points, but for me, that's a long way. That performance there, that second half, is a long way where we'll be at this season. We've uh, you mentioned the, the poor start. It was four goals down after 13 minutes. It seems to be, I think it's happened a lot this season, is we lose a goal and then lose a three, two or three straight away. What do you think the reason is for that? The reason is vulnerability. It's as simple as that. If you look at the goals back, which we always do, you know, you'll see yourself, it's it's four cheap goals, whether you've got 10 players, seven players, or 14 players on the park. You know, you know obviously you can't, but it's a simple goals that we've conceded, you know. We've, we've relied on a 16, 17-year-old 17 lad to come off the bench and make his debut, who's not even a 20s goalkeeper yet, you know, he's still establishing himself. Coming on, and he's a wee bit unsure of how we play and things like that, and a wee bit nervous. I'm proud as punch of that kid, you know, he is going to take so much out of that game, he's going to be so disappointed Dougie, but you know what, in the long run he'll look back at that and he'll be, he'll be glad he's made his debut and got over the nerves, and I know for a fact he'll go on to be, make a lot better performances than that. Is anyone to Balky Fissel at home in the cup next week, just try and regroup and go again for the cup? Trying to regroup Dougie, you know I've got a lot of players playing through pain barrier just now, you know it's, um, it's, a, it's a tough tough time we're going through injury wise at the moment you know I'm going to have to look after the boys this week maybe and give them a day off during the week and things like that just now um, nurse themselves back together get together on Thursday you know they'll be prepared the best they can and we look forward to welcome Dalkeith to, to Montgomery Park and we're looking to get in the round the next cup you know and before I go take my hats off to Musselba I feel like it's all about myself they're a good side you know uh, Burns has got them playing really good football and on another day, if we keep 11 players on the pitch, you know, I know for a fact we give them a better game than what we showed today. Thank you very much. You're welcome.